What's up everyone? It's RC and welcome to my video blog. So today I'm going to ask answer a few questions and so let's get started. Actually, go to intro. Okay, first of all, it says grab the book nearest to you, turn to page 18 and find line 4. Um, I better not do that. Okay, it says stretch your left arm out as far as you can. What can you touch? I can touch the headboard. Thank you for asking. Uh, what is the last thing you watched on TV? I watched Bonanza. Without looking, guess what time it is? No idea. Five o'clock. Uh, now look at the clock. What is the actual time? Matter of fact, I'll look at my watch. Whoa. 530. I'll take it. Okay. With the exception of the computer, what can you hear? I can hear the TV running right now. Can you guys hear it? Um, what did you dream last night? Oh, did you dream last night? Yes, I did. Um, what was that? See, it's hard to remember when you've been up all day. I forget what I dreamt about. It woke me up a couple of times. I'm not sure why. But, um, what is on the walls of the room you are in? I have a picture um, that my grandmother gave me on the right behind you guys. And uh, can't see the other pictures over there. So, some odd questions. Let's see. If you could live anywhere in the world, where would you live? I think I responded to this on a couple of videos ago about I would love to go to New York because I've never been there. And I think it would be exciting. And it really doesn't matter where in New York. I don't care. I just want to go there with the, just the experience of being there. Uh, let's see. Tell me something about you that most people don't know. What? I think I will answer this question. And there's a lot. First of all, when I was in fourth grade, I had a crush on Mrs. Miller. And I think I did talk about this a long time ago but it stuck. Number one, she had beautiful legs. Um, she rarely wears shoes. And, oh my God, she looked awesome. I loved her legs. And couldn't keep my eyes off of her. This is fourth grade, dude. So, oh, and what else? Okay, in sixth grade, I went out with her, I didn't go out with her, this is around uh, lunchtime, and me and Sherry went out behind, um, there's a, by the way, I used to be in a Catholic school when I was young, that's another issue, but anyway, around lunchtime, there's a convent that's between, it's the convent and there's a school, and right in between there's a walkway, you can go into the convent or go around the school, so it's a small area where the where the nuns would go through. So, but we decided to go there. It was like oleanders and it's pretty shady. And sometimes it's kind of hard to go through there because sometimes they don't trim the bushes as good as well. And so we kind of did a little make out thing. And that was my first experience making out. Um, but in fifth grade, my best friend, who just on the left side of me, um, comes up to me and goes, I dare you to kiss Mary Lou. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be saying these names, but Mary Lou was in front of me, and uh, so I just tapped her on her shoulder, because he dared me, I'm gonna do it. So I tapped her on her so shoulder, she turns around, gave a great big smooch kiss right on the cheek. It was just like an instant reflex, she just goes reflex, Re poof, right in the side of my face. Dude. 
that hurt. And the sister up in front heard this. She comes around with a ruler, has my hands down on the desk, and she smacked it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, the nuns are, at that time, were very, very uh, strict. So, but that was my experience in fourth and fifth and sixth grade, and I could go on, it goes up into eighth grade and on, so. But that'll be another video. People, you like to dance. I like to dance like Carlton. You guys know who Carlton is, right? On Fresh Prince. Let's see. Um, let's see let's go further here. What color is your bedroom carpet? It's kind of a beige color. Why? That's such an odd question. Why does it really matter? Um, have you ever ridden on a motorbike? Yes. Well. I, well, I try to or attempt to ride the motorbike, but um, I get on there and I keep falling off. And so my best friend, he took it and showed me how to ride it. And it took me a while to kind of figure out how to do it, but it was an experience. A lot of scabs, dude. Scratch. Oh my God. Um, would you go bungee jumping or skydiving? Yes, I would love to go skydiving. And the only reason I want to do this, because this has been years ago, my second oldest brother, he did a skydive. And I was pissed, because I, I have four brothers, and I want to be the first one to do this. And, but he already did it, so I was pissed. So that was in my bucket list to do, and still there. But I was on a helicopter, I was on a Cessna, I actually flew a Cessna plane, and that was interesting because, um, I forgot the guy's name, um, it took me on there. And we would go up and he would say, okay, where do you live? And so I told him, gave him the streets and he goes zooming around and, and he kind of tilts like this. And so we're going down and he goes, is that where you're at? And he goes, yeah. And he takes the plane and just, yeah. oh my God, I almost lost my cookies on that one. Oh, geez. The scary part is when he was doing a touchdown. I'm sure some of you people know what that is. On the plane, on the Cessna, and then he would, he said he needs to practice. What? At that time, I didn't think too much of it. No, no big deal. So we go down, touchdown, and we're a little shock there, boom, 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 go back up. A little scary the first time, because it looked like I was going to crash. Oh my God. And so he did a couple, touchdowns and up and go, did a couple of those and then we went back to the hangar after that but we were up in the air for probably about a half hour or so because he needed some uh, time put into his flying so I loved it and I would love to do it again and uh, so good question guys a couple things you guys didn't know about me a few things um, let's see, what is the first thing you think of when you wake up in the morning? I'm thinking of that I'm breathing, thank God. Okay, that was off. Okay. Uh, which store would you choose to max out your credit card? If I were to max it out, ooh, good question. Since I'm into electronics, either um, Best Buy or a car. Oh, good question. I don't know if I want to use a, a car to do that. And the last question I'm going to read, hallelujah, what time is bedtime? Usually it's around 1 30, 2 o'clock in the morning is usually when I get to bed, usually. But those are some good questions. Some are kind of odd, bizarre, like what color is your carpet? What? So, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will do more of these questions and answers. And it'll be interesting in the next questions I read here. So I appreciate you guys watching. 
and uh, I would appreciate a little like on the button. Just click the like button if you like the video or make comments. And you can follow me on my channel, which is Marketplace Videos on YouTube. And other than that, thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. And peace.